Hello everybody, Xanathar here, and today I am doing a review of episode 22 of Ultraman Blazar. Let's talk about the characters. Well, the main character carried a bat seat for this episode. The main character of this episode is Tetsuro. He works at the Kaiju Ascendant place, and he really is not happy with his life. He don't really know what he's doing, all his friends are doing very great things, and he's just kind of stuck. And you dentally relate to him and feel really bad for him. And then eventually he tries to sell Kaiju Yusuna to this old lady, and then he has this really nice friendship where he starts helping her out, and she cooks him some food, and it's just a really sweet friendship, and they have really sweet scenes together. There's one scene I thought was really sad, when he goes to Retsuho when the Kaiju is attacking. She says she's ready to see her lay hubs in, and she just kinda accepts her fate, but eventually he does drag her out to save her. That scene was just really sad to hear her say that. And then at the end of this episode, his reputation is getting better and he's just really happy with his job now and you just feel really happy for him. So I would say the characters in this episode is really good. I really liked seeing this random character's story. Now it's talked about the effects. We see the reappearance of Gigas and Red King. And seeing them fight again was really nice, a nice homage to the original Ultraman. And it was nice to see Gigas and Red King work together and Red King being the boss. It was kind of funny and awesome to see. One effect I thought was really cool was seeing Earth Garon hold the van. Also, the fight scene in this episode was really good. There was one effect I thought was really cool looking, was this traitor kaiju they used for the kaiju servants. I really like this kaiju design, I kinda wish they used it. So I would say the effects in this episode are really good. Let's talk about my criticisms. Now my criticism is with Red King. Now don't get me wrong, I like Red King and I did think he was used well in this episode. But I'm just kind of sick and tired of seeing him. I think they should have just used Gigas instead. I get why they use Red King because they did appear together. But they should have just used Gigas. Or if they did want to have a Sen Kaiju, they could use that Trader Kaiju suit. Because that was a really awesome suit. What did I like about this episode? I liked the fact the main characters could have bad seat in this episode. Yes, they do appeal, but they are not the main focus. I actually like that. Because that's something they used to do quite a lot in Ultraman. And I honestly, I kind of bits it, and I'm glad they did heal. They focus on just a random civilian character who has nothing to do with the show, and we just see his life. So what is my final thoughts for episode 22 of Ultraman Blazar? I thought this episode was really good. I loved the main character, I thought he was really relatable and just understandable. I just really liked this episode. Well, that is it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me down below what you think of this episode. If you're new, subscribe. If you like this video, drop a like for this video. Xanafar is out.